I'm here to have my dad take a lie detector test for the charges that were brought up against him, intent to solicit a minor over the internet. It's gonna hurt me the most knowing that my kids aren't gonna be able to grow up with their grandfather by their side. My ex-husband Dave, he's a monster, trying to have sex with a 14-year-old girl. He's guilty of this, I've seen the police report. The girl mentioned more than once that she was 14 years old and he just still continued on with it. Every time I try to talk to him about this, he denies it. He said that it's just a bunch of people making up a bunch of different stories. And that makes me feel hurt because I don't know if I should trust him on that or not. When I found out, I was shocked. I was appalled, I was disturbed. I was fearful for my own kids. I just, I couldn't believe he could do such a thing. I told the state attorney that I didn't want him anywhere near our kids. At the time that this charge occurred in 2007, I was 15 years old. We were all sitting watching TV. A breaking news story came on the air talking about this big sex thing that they were doing. Among one of those people that were doing it was my father, Dave. It was one of the most embarrassing times of my entire life. He looked up to his father. He wanted to be just like his father. And then when he had to see this all over the television while he was out with his friends, it just totally destroyed him. And he just wasn't the same after that. My relationship before the crime with my father was very close. He became a firefighter. I would always sit in the truck with him. Remembering all the times we used to go to the fire station. <laughs> Being raised in that fire station with him to now I don't even want to see him. It's just, I pray to God he did not do this. It would tear my heart too. It really would. <laughs> uh, Dave, that's your son and ex-wife on the tape. Uh, how do you feel about what they're saying? Basically, I love my son. Love all my kids, okay? What they see on the media, what my ex-wife saw on the media, was not the truth. What, what, uh, and well, tell me what happened. What's your side of the story? Basically, back in 2007, went on this adult chat room. Re re reiterate that. It was an adult chat room. I had to use a credit card to get in there to prove I was over 18. So I go in there. I did a search of profiles between the age of 21 and 42 years of age because I wanted somebody who could drink. So I did an a introduction saying hi, 42-year-old male. I said my age, and I cut and pasted it to all of them, saying, you know, just want to talk. And only one came up, so we started talking, talking for about five or 10 minutes, and her profile said she was 29 years old. She had a picture, you know, the age and everything, that, so just 29. So I said, okay, she's 29 years old. So we started talking, and, you know, unfortunately, it started turning sexual and everything like that, and, and I asked her, well, how old are you? She was 14 going to 15. I said, bull, okay? First of all, you needed to have she a credit card. She said she was going on 14 going no, on 15. Four, four, 14 going on 15, which I didn't believe her because, number one, her profile well, why, picture said... But why wouldn't you believe her? Because... Why would a woman, a grown woman, lie about being a Because teenager? there's a lot of women that play these games, and that's a defense. That is an actual defense. The fantasy defense is actual defense. And a lot of women do but that. But, okay... Know. Say I'm in your position, say, mm -hmm. God forbid, uh, I'm single again, and I'm looking for love on, you know, one of these websites, and a girl says, you know, by the way, I'm really 15 years old. Do I think, do I leap to that theory of, oh, it's a sexual fantasy defense, you know? No, I'd be like, are you really 15? I'm out of here. Like, don't contact me again. Wasn't the yeah. sexual thing kind of making it hard for you to let this go? Because she had been talking dirty to well, you. Well, in the You're beginning. But then when I started realizing that, that's why I said, well, let's go out for a drink. Even you know, though she's 14. No, she wasn't 14. As an adult, let's go out for a drink. Right. Okay. So, but she tells you I'm 14. I know. But, like I said, I didn't believe her. So I got on the phone with her. Another thing, when I was on the phone with her, she did not sound like a 14-year-old. You could kind of tell. But is she still you know, saying she's 14? Not after point? that. She just said it the one time. And I don't know what my ex-wife saw on the police report, but it was not mentioned more than once. So I said, okay, I'll come over, I'll pick you up. And I said, I want you to come outside first before I, because I don't know who this woman is. You know, so I've never done this before, never met anybody at midnight. So I said, I want you to meet me. So you're this, meeting her at midnight? It was, yeah, it was by the time we got done, it was like midnight. You know, Why are you meeting so late at night, anybody? 
there was nothing else to do. I was I didn't have to work. She obviously didn't have to work, you know. She might have school the next day. Uh, not really. <laughs> not the woman I saw. Not the woman I saw. Because when I got to the house, I told outside. her to come outside. And she you did know. she come outside? Yeah, she came outside and it was an adult that came out. Right. It wasn't even the same woman in the picture. Right. And what did she and, say? And she said, she comes to the car, she says, oh, I'm not ready yet, but you can come in. After I got out, the minute I got in the house, they got me. You know, they police had their, were there. The police were there. They had handcuffed me. Handcuffed you? Yep, and that was it. And that was it? Yep. And, uh, and you course, feel like you did nothing wrong? Yes, I do, because I wasn't going there to meet with a 14-year-old. I was going there to meet with a 29-year-old. And nobody though, wants to believe Even me. the last time she told you her age, she said she was 14. That was the one time, yeah. And I that was the believe. last time? Yeah, it was the okay. last time. And I didn't believe anything. So today. you believe you did nothing wrong? Yes, I do. OK. You plead no contest yes. to using the internet to solicit attempt to solicit a child for sex, lewdness, and for sending minor harmful info. Why did you plead no contest? If you believe you did nothing wrong, why did you plead no contest? I hoping you would contest? ask me that. Basically, no contest means, I mean, sure you know. I know what yeah. it means, but you, tell me it, why be, you did it. Because there's no way to get a fair trial, and you can't change. What state you, do you live in you can't get a fair Florida. trial? Florida, you can't get a fair trial. No, unfortunately. Nobody's ever gotten off. There's been a few, but not in these cases. And seven, what, was, so. what was your occupation at this time? I, actually, I just got a job with the, the fire department as a dispatcher. Your son at the time is how old? I think he was 15 at that time. 15, and what did yeah. you tell him? Well, I didn't. I couldn't talk to them for seven years. They wouldn't let me. My wow, ex-wife. Wow, he's no. your son. Yeah, I mean, they wouldn't let me. She wouldn't let me have your any wife contact. wouldn't let you. Yeah, my ex-wife. Yeah. Not the law. No. Yeah, they said I could have supervised contact with them, but sure. she wouldn't let me talk to. Because she said, "Hey, you're a creep, and I don't want you yeah, talking to." Yeah. Basically, yeah. she's been saying that for years. You know? Yeah. Did you go to jail? Yes, I did. How long? I went to prison for three years, and I had probation for five years. Prison for three prison years. For three years. Yep. Okay, so you're in prison for three years. Mm -hmm for a crime that you feel like you did nothing wrong. Yep. And you said, I'm going to plead no, no contest. I'm not going to even chance it. I'm going to do three years in prison. Yeah, unfortunately, yes. Now, we have these two articles that read that you stated to detectives, uh, there was a, the detective was posing as a 14-year-old girl. Yeah. And you stated uh, to the person that you thought was a girl, you think you might like to lose your virginity to an older guy? That is after I realized she was playing a game. Yes. And everything you read on there. But you don't was, know you know, she's playing a game. I thought she was. You I thought, was but stupid. so yeah. you thought that you were now she says, Hey, I'm 14 years old, and you state to her, Hey, how would you like to use your virginity to uh yeah, older guy? Yeah, I said guy? that. Yeah. But I was saying Wouldn't it's a 20 year woman. But you don't and know. And I know nobody's going to believe me. The last me, time you know? she said it, though, she said she was 14 years old. It didn't I wasn't believing her. And you That's exposed yourself me. via a, a web, webcam, I sent her right? a picture. Of what? A picture of a <laughs> that I got off the internet. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to send mine to an adult. And if you don't believe me, hey. But she says, know, I'm a minor. Whether she said it, I can say I'm President Lincoln. Do you believe me? But by you saying you know? President Lincoln, you're not breaking a law as an adult. By mm -hmm. you believing that you are having uh, sexually inappropriate conversations with a minor, you are breaking the if law. You're, if you're talking to one, yes. And if you're believing one, yes. OK. There's a, there's OK, a thing. hold on, hold on. Because okay, okay. you're not going to talk your way around this one, OK? <laughs> you know for a fact if you believe that you are going to engage with a sexual act and you're meeting up with a minor child, which that last conversation that ever was told to you that she was 14 years old, mm -hmm. you are soliciting a minor. Whether that, whether that minor turns out to be a police detective conducting a sexual sting. So what do you hope happens today? I want my life back. I want my family to finally believe me. I want to be able Why? to... Why? Because it's been disgusting. It's been heartache. I can't get jobs. What do you I think it's... You know, how hard do you think it's on them? Hey, your dad's a pervert. Hey, your ex-husband's a pervert. It's hard for me, too, and they don't want to talk about it. That's why we don't talk about it, okay? It happened to me. Okay. Let's meet your son, Stephen. Dad, you're a monster. Have me do this. I can you send a, a, a picture of a to a 14-year-old. I did it to an adult. 
I, I don't believe you. I came here believing you, 90% believing you. Mm -hmm. Now, after some, just watching this, I don't know what to believe anymore. Well, Steven, you know, nobody wanted to get my side of the story. Nobody wants to listen to me. 10, 11 years this is going on, okay? And I know your mother puts a lot into your mind in the last 10 years, and I can't, everybody says no, but they do. At the end of the show, you'll see I'm telling the truth. I love you. I've always loved you. You're my, my buddy. You've always been there. You are my idol. The day I found out about this, I don't even want you around my kids. I was so upset and hurt, knowing that my father could be this monster. Now, he, uh, your mother he came here and took a lie detector test. What are these results going to mean to you? If he were to pass this, awesome. That would be awesome. I would do as much as I can to make sure my kids are in his life. If he fails it, that's the last time he's ever seen me or my kids. And I will make sure of that. You make me sick. I can't believe. <sighs> Sorry, you can't do it. This is just horrible that you could do this to the kids. Yeah. I know you did Go this. Ahead. Yep. You know, from day one, you were, you were against me since we got married, okay? Whatever, you, everybody has a, a, an opinion, and you got your opinion, fine. I've seen the police reports. Yes, you did. You saw a lie. They t cut and pasted that police report and put everything in there to make me look like the monster you think I am. And I'm done talking. You know, the kids were kept away because you were in jail for three years. You came out, you violated, you went back to jail. Yeah, then I you violated. came out and you had a no whoa, contact order. Whoa, whoa, is that order. true? Hold, yes. hold on. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I violated whoa, whoa, for whoa, a curfew. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got out of jail. Yep. And then you went back in? I did. I got out of jail in 2010. Right. 2012, I came home late. And that's how I violated. And they put you back in prison? Yes. So and then when I you know. did get out, you had a no contact order. Okay. No, so didn't. again, you weren't no, allowed I, around no, the kids. No, I had a no contact order. Okay. No, listen. No, I know well, nobody wants to listen to you anymore. Um, Dave, you came here and you took a lie detector test. And we asked you, did you believe that you were communicating with a 14-year-old female? You answered no. Did you go to meet a 14-year-old female for the purpose of sexual physical contact? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Dave did not tell the truth. All gang up on me and say I failed the test. Okay, I know first I passed, of all, you know. first of all, I know he's hold on. You know. Okay, I, I, well, and I'm going to let you speak in one second here. Nobody's ganging up on you. It seems like Nobody made you come on my show. You're not required by law to appear on my show. You, on your own decision, pled no contest to a crime, and you served your time. You kept talking about, oh, I've been taking lie detector tests. Not about whether you did it, not whether you believed it was a 14-year-old, and you came here today and you failed. If you really want to repair what you have with your son and your grandchildren, Start telling the truth. But if you don't want to take the last chance I'm offering you, and I'm giving you damn good advice, all they want to do you say is, you know what? I did it. I'm sorry. It'll never happen again. If that's what they want to hear. But in my home, no, I didn't do it. Don't start talking. Hey, Dave. You know, I'm sorry. I, I Dave, love my kids. Dave, get the hell off my stage. Why would you do this? <laughs> you were my everything. <laughs> it hurts so much. I've never been so embarrassed in my entire life to call you my dad. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too.